What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you another dub or L. It looks as though the Bundesliga Player of the Month has been released and it's Andre Kramaric. Couldn't really be anyone else, five goals, two games. The card looks really good apart from pace and it looks as though, well, doesn't look as though, it is only one segment. So can't imagine it's going to be too expensive. My guess, and I haven't actually looked, but my guess is going to be an 82 rated squad. I think any higher... Possibly an 83. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I just look at this card, and although the shooting and the dribbling is absolutely absurd, what would he actually go for if this card was tradable? Purely because of the pace, I can't imagine it being more than 30k. Like, is there a way? There we go. So, four star, four star, medium, medium. The four star, four star is good, but medium medium for a striker isn't really good he's probably better as a cam with those stats personally uh his acceleration's actually not too bad um the shooting immaculate literally you're looking at almost 90 for every single stat um dribbling pretty much the same his composure is really good agility and balance is good how tall is he 510 so i don't think he'll feel clunky uh the Physical isn't too bad, stamina is decent, strength is a little bit low, but you know, it, it, it's not a bad card. And if we look what an 84 rated uh, team actually costs, so I'll quickly jump on the foot bin and we'll have a quick look. I might as well show that actually. There we go. So we jump on foot bin um, and we'll have a look at active challenges because it's 75 chemistry, 84 rated, one team of the week, and one Bundesliga. So uh, I doubt, yeah, he won't have a price there. So if we look at someone like Witzel had an 84, didn't he? I think he did. Let's have a look. What are we looking at there? 84, but that didn't have a team of the week. That one didn't either, but that's about 37k. So with the team of the week, I would imagine it's about 45. I'll see if I can find... Was it Ansu Fati who had a, a 84 rated with an inform? I think it was. I think it was this one. No, 85... 86. Hmm. There was definitely a card that was released. Um, Calvert Lewin. It was that one, wasn't it? I hope so, because this is getting ridiculous. No, that was an 83 with it. Regardless, okay, still, if you had the inform, I would say there's about 45k. I if he was a tradable card, even though his shooting and his dribbling is absolutely Pen. absurd, I just. Oh, man, I don't think he'd be going for even 40k. Like, we'll have a look and we'll see if we can find any comparable players. This early on FIFA might be a little bit hard uh, for informs anyway. But if we just look at uh, centre forward and striker, we'll filter it so the most expensive are at the top. Uh, we'll we'll make it gold because, again, there might be some informs. We can have a quick look. But, yeah, we, we'll go down to, you know, this, this sort of thing here. So, you know, you're looking at... What, what can you get for about 40k? So you can get Suarez. There's a perfect example, actually. Perfect example is Luis Suarez there. 46k for his base. He's got less pace. He's got less dribbling. Um, he's got better shooting, better passing, a lot better physical, and a lot better defending. He's about as close as a comparison as you can get. And on the market as a tradable card, he's 46k. Boosted by the fact that it's Luis Suarez. You know, he's a well-known player. But he's in form... His inform is only 82k, and you know that's that tells you quite a lot there. Like it's barely double the price. Well, it isn't actually double the price of his normal card. So, I mean that that is probably the closest comparison we're gonna get, um, unless there's another inform that I can have a look at that's got similar sort of stats, but I doubt it. Version, what we're we looking at, all informs. We'll look at gold informs. So. Uh, what, what will it uh, again sorted by price? This is Xbox price, of course, but the PlayStation isn't too much diff uh, different to be honest. Oh, so, what is 50 that pass, for man. Christian Eriksen, I mean, uh, you can't really compare them, he doesn't have as, as good stats. Yeah, Suarez is probably the closest comparison you can make, really. Um, yeah, there just isn't enough there at the minute. I mean, James Rodriguez is close ish, different. Um, position and obviously a lot slower but he's got really good dribbling um, yeah shooting and dribbling is pretty much the same actually yeah 88 and 89 for Kamaric and 88 and 
88 for James Rodriguez, but obviously he's a lot slower and it's a different position. So he was only about 14K. So I think on the market, it's safe to say that this card wouldn't be going for what it's going to cost you in terms of an SPC. So for me, I wouldn't do it and I'm not going to. Uh, I think the cards... The, I mean, the card's probably a win, but uh, even at 40K, I, I, I just... No, he's going to be the type of card that you probably regret doing uh, later down the line because it's just this game's so reliant on pace. And yes, there are some players that work and he might be one of them, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the card's a small dub, but price, probably a small L. What do you think? Am I being harsh? Are you going to do it? I don't know. But yeah, for me, overall... I don't know, it's a really tough one. It's on the fence for win or L, I think. 